Hello everyone, this is a video about Bob Chief. For your better understanding of our software, you are going to be reminded of three parts Introduction to Bob Chief, Action List, and Examples. This is the introduction part, and we will make another two videos to demonstrate Action List and Examples. It's a very powerful software, but people could run it without any professional program skill. Botchief includes Botchief Editor and Botchief Runner. We can create and edit any projects and modules with Botchief Editor. We can run the completed templates with Botchief Runner. You can create applications with the projects and modules with Botchief Editor. First, we click the sale page. There are three versions for Bob Chief Editor, Pro, Elite, and Developer. We will provide different functions for different versions. Close this page. Click Run. We run Bob Chief Editor. In training videos part, we have many instructional videos for users. There will be more videos with the update and the improvement. Click close this table, we can close this page. I once mentioned that you can create applications with projects and modules. So here we provide you a platform for your software where you can recommend and sell your software to others. You can also search the software you need here. Close this page. Here on the left is action list. We have classified them according to different operations. I will share more in future video. For module and project, it represents the projects and modules we created or opened in lists. This is our browser area. If the actions were different, the action settings will be different. Here is the variable viewer. Users will create different variables according to different requirements. Here it will display the selected templates and the variables in a form. Later I will talk more about a variable. I will also talk more about screenshot. For attributes and Documents, you can select the element and view its attributes. Now I'm going to give you an example. Click the arrow symbol and choose an element. Here it will display the structure of the element in the web page. Here it will display all the attributes of that element, which can respond to some action settings. When we can exactly find the control, we can add it according to these attributes. I will share more about it in the future. Click refresh button, we can refresh this page. Now we move to the top of the page. Style. It's a style of your forms. You can choose one that you like. The default is Visual Studio 2010. Here you can save or reset your layout. And the next part is Create and Open. Here you can create or open your module or project. I'm going to open a project and a module respectively. Here it will display your module or project in lists. We can also export our project and module by click export Select the module first and then click export. You can choose a browser version. 
name your module and choose path for saving. Here you can select the version which can edit or run your module. Custom action list. We can add some most often used action into a folder. So here you will see a folder in action list. It's very convenient. Now we go to the next part, edit. Record means it can record user's operation and will generate some actions automatically. You can see the screenshot of operation in operation screenshot column. Now I take this module for example. Pay attention please. Click record button to record my operation. I click the input box first and then the search button. Now you can see some actions here in the list which were generated automatically. Now back to operation screenshot. Now we stop recording. If I click my operation, you will see the screenshot of my each operation displayed on the bottom of the page. The next part is select control. Some of our operations need this. There are three ways to select control. The first one is to click the select control button directly. The second one is to select the action. Click the right mouse button. You can choose select control button. The last one is you will see select control in action settings of each action. The next part is track element. Here's an example. First, we enable the drag element function, choose the action, and last, click save. Long press the left mouse button, and then drag the action to the module lists. That's the drag element. It will generate the specified action based on the elements you drag. Now we disable this and move to the next part, Variable Manager. Here you can manage the variables that your modules or projects need. At the same time, you can also edit the values of the variables in Variable Viewer, or you can add new variables here on the right side. Cookies are stored in computers by the servers to identify the computers. If we click it, we can clear all the cookies stored in your computer. Remembering your password is an example of cookies. It's a process that the server reads the cookies in your computer. REGX means regular expressions. You can test the regular expression here that you may need to see if it's available in this program. Now let's go to some operations about forms. Now we keep the forms selected. For log manager, I would love to give you an example. If I have two operations at the same time, one for writing and the other for reading, if I lock the right operation, I can read the text at the same time. Click Lock Manager, you can add, delete, or clear the lock operation for the form. Click these two buttons to add forms and HTML forms. You can also select the form, click right mouse button and add the forms. If I select a form, I can edit and remove it 
and also manage your timer here. I will talk more about this later. That's all for the operation of the forms. We must choose one way before we begin to edit. Pop-up manager. Here are some settings about the pop-up windows in the browser. You can close all pop-up windows or you can customize your operations. You can set the version of your module. If you keep updating your modules, you can set different versions for your modules so that you can distinguish them easily. If you set password for your module, you can open it only when you provide the right password. For remove and clear action, if I click this, I will clear all the actions in the list. You can manage and edit your module action here. Here you can manage your project. The next part is debug and run. Select the project. You can run the project here. For the module, you can click here to run the module. Select an action. Click execute action so you can execute it. You can also select the action. Click right mouse button to choose test run to run it. Run form button means we can run the action that we selected. I can click the stop button to stop running the module or the project. For debug part, select an action in module. I can add or remove a breakpoint. If I add a breakpoint, when I run the whole module, it will stop running till it finish the selected action. If I click run to next action button, it will start again from where it stops. If I click continue to run all button, it will continue to run all the actions left. If I hit disable action button, when it runs the whole module, it will skip this selected action and continue to run all the actions left. These four buttons help us find the bugs in your modules. The next part is developer tools. Here you can compile your modules or projects. I will talk more about that in the future. For License Manager, if you compile a project or a module into a new application, you can visit the corresponding website by hitting this button. You can generate and manage your serial numbers of your softwares there and also authorize those users who use your serial numbers. For auto update system, you can upload your updated software to the server so the users of your softwares could update their softwares. Next part is plugin part. If you have some knowledge of programming, you can also add your own plugin that's your name. You can also import plugin here. You can also upload your plugin to the server. If it could be verified, you can add the plugin to the action list used by other users. The last part, settings and help. You may see the capture service when you are logging in or registering somewhere. You may need to finish the capture manually, but we have a capture service to help you finish those capture automatically. 
There are also actions and plugins to help you deal with the capture. For browser option, you can edit the browser user agent, bind proxy, and disable some functions to speed up page loads. The default core is the core of Firefox browser. There will be some difference between the cores. If you need to switch the core version of your module, you can switch it in the export module part. Your module corresponds to the version of the core. If you switch the core version of your browser, you must switch your module. You can also edit or run your module with your local Google Chrome. We click and have a look at the process. Here you can choose your browser version. Here you can choose to use Google Chrome. Click Go to Forum. You can visit our forum. You can also watch our videos. Click here, you will get more help. Well, that's all for introduction part. Thanks for watching.